In this brief tutorial, we're going to look at the power and importance of using reference material. Oftentimes in After Effects, you're trying to recreate realism. You might be generating virtual water or a virtual sunset, or you might be trying to generate shadows that look real. In such cases, it really pays to have an image, video, something that resembles the real world phenomena that you're trying to copy, so you could use that as a reference. Let's say I was trying to create digital water from scratch. I might have a photo like this handy that I can use to just check out the water and make sure that the water I'm creating looks similar. Or if I was trying to create the colors at sunset, I might have this to help me determine what clouds might look like or what the colors of the sunset would be. Or if I'm trying to composite video into a background of sunset, I might have this to let me know what images look like when they're shot in front of a sunset. Now, using reference material might seem at first like cheating, but trust me, folks, all the pros do it. Even Pixar, when they're creating their great masterpieces, they have reference material. They have photos of their faces, or even sometimes they'll have mirrors on their computers while they're working so they could make faces into the mirrors and then copy what they're doing, those facial expressions, onto the characters that they're making. Now, if you don't have a huge library of reference material, that's okay. That's what Google was created for. Do a Google image search and you'll be amazed at how much free reference material there is available on the internet. Using real life reference material will really help your projects look more like they would in the real world. 